Hi, this is Mike from Animal 3DP, and today I'm doing another release notes video on the new Cura 5.6. So let's go ahead and get started. So this week, the latest release of Cura version 5.6 has dropped, and it has some new improvements and bug fixes. So I just wanted to let you know that this is out there and what the changes are. Now, most of the changes appear to have to do with Ultimaker's own printers particularly the method X and the method XL, and changing how the profiles and how some of that works. They've made some changes to prime towers. And if you remember, prime towers are for printers that have dual extruders. So if you're using a printer with multiple extruders, you'd be very interested in these changes for the prime towers. If we keep looking through here, there's some other changes that have to do with raft line spacing. But again, more geared towards prime towers, some updates to Z support distances. And then looking through here, there's some new printer definitions, including the Ender 3 version 3 SE, and some other changes that have to do with layers and partially printed, and some other bug fixes. Now, they've also showcasing one of their new plugins, which is a Cura Engine Tiled Infill Generator. This expands the list of possible infills you can use, and at the same time gives users the ability to upload their own infill patterns via a WTK file. Now I've installed this new plugin in my version of Cura. If I look down here, particularly here at the bottom, you'll see I now have Cura Infill Pattern, Honeycomb, and a Continuous Honeycomb. So this has just extended the list of the options I have for infill patterns, and at the same time gives me the ability down the road to add my own infill patterns. This looks been pretty exciting. Now, I've also noticed some of my existing plugins aren't working right now, so I'm anxiously looking forward to some updates. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.